guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today I'm going to talk about all the high-end foundations that I loved throughout last year and that I am really obsessed about. I always get asked this question, like what are my favourite foundations, what are my top three? I'll, t I'll probably give you my top three at the moment, although it does change a, a lot because I try so many foundations, but um, just to add a bit of background, I have really dry skin and I kind of prefer a more skin like finish these days whether that's matte or glowy i'm not too fussed these days especially because i've discovered some pretty good matte foundations one that i'm wearing today <laughs> today's post notification shout out is going to go to Veloni braganza thank you so much for hitting the bell button and subscribing i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so by the way contacts will be linked in the info boxes i know so many of you are going to ask honestly i've been trialing so many but this one is so good and i'm happy to recommend it to you guys so in, in the info box. I'm not gonna lie, one foundation that really shook my core, okay, is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Stick. Stick? Stick? Honestly, this foundation is so good. It's so skin-like, it's so lightweight, it's long wearing, it doesn't give me smile lines. Can I just put out there that all the foundations that I'm gonna talk about mostly don't give me smile lines, um, but this is just such a good foundation. There's a lot of shades, um, it wears beautifully on my dry skin. I do have a full review on this um, foundation, so this is definitely one I wanted to add to my list. I would say it's my number one that I'm reaching out to right at the moment, so yeah. This is a good one, guys. And I use the shade Dulce de Leche. This is a very, very, very recent one, a very different kind of product that I'm used to, but I'm wearing it today. And I'm so shook. Like, this is definitely a foundation that I recently discovered, but I definitely see myself purchasing it and wearing it, especially when I'm back in the office. Um, it's just so quick and easy to use, guys. So flawless. So, 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 so long wearing. It literally does not budge throughout the day. It covers my scars well, but it doesn't cover them completely. I would say, like, 80%. But I don't mind that. I don't want, like, a full coverage kind of thing like this is just so beautiful and it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I recently did a review on it, it's actually my last video that I did but I've worn this a few times and it's just so beautiful. Like the finish is gorgeous. I think I kind of prefer it to the liquid, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is because I'm just more into that skin-like finish and, it's be and because it's so quick and easy to use, I'm more about that life, especially when I'm on the go, when I'm back to work, like I literally have zero time like to sit down and do my makeup, like five, 10 minutes, my makeup needs to be done and this is just gonna be it. So this is why I like the stick and the, um, the powder, maybe my top two, I would say, yeah, for sure. Now this third one is my third one because I genuinely use this so much when I was in the office and it's the, Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Now, you can see there's so much that has gone from here. I haven't used it in a bit, because obviously, where does this bitch go? I ain't got nowhere to go, okay? Stay at home, guys. It's locked down, okay? I haven't been anywhere, so this is why I haven't used it in a while. It's kind of settled, but this is a really nice, hydrating, lightweight foundation. I have a review on it. It's very, it's very beautiful, like very luxury and it sits so beautifully on the skin. I remember like, it's just like this glowy skin-like finish. I just like that hydrating side to it. It feels more like a moisturizer foundation kind of product. And I use the shade Y405 and I use the shade 310 in the Fenty Beauty Powder. These two foundations, I just want to include them into this video because they're really, really good still and I use them a lot. One being the Huda Beauty Pro Filter Liquid Foundation and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Literally, like, I, yes, I prefer the stick and yes, I prefer the powder, but these are two foundations that I've used so, so much. My second bottle of the Fenty Beauty Liquid Foundation and this is almost gone. Like, I think I should throw this away, but I use this like crazy. They're both definitely like full coverage foundations. But these are foundations I would reach out for if I have an event to go to or just like if I need a, 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 a nice, nice glam, like full coverage glam for an event or like a special occasion. So I wanted to include these because they are really good too. And at the moment I'm using 310 in liquid as well. Although before I used to use 330, but that's definitely more my summer shade. This is 
more my 310 and I ain't been getting no vitamin D so my skin's super pale at the moment and that's why I've been finding that 310 matches me the most. Another foundation that I really really loved in 2020 and I would definitely recommend to you guys and it's and it's the Forever Skin Glow by Dior. This is a really luxe foundation. It's beautiful. Me and my sister have loved it so much. I gift, I got this for her on her birthday, I think. Um, and I use the shade 4W. It's a little bit on my on the warmer side, so I reach more for it on in summer. But it's a really beautiful, medium to full coverage, glowy, dewy kind of foundation. It's so nice. I don't know, it's something, there's something about Dior foundations that make me feel like booey. And I have used it a bit, like it's gone down a little bit, a little bit, but. Yeah, I needed to have this in this video. The next foundation that I really love is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I use the shade Toasty Toffee. Again, this is more foundation that I would reach for when I have an event or uh, if I need a glam for a special occasion. I wouldn't wear this to work, it's just too full coverage. But this photographs beautifully, it looks flawless and it lasts very well throughout the day it doesn't budge and whenever i wear this my skin looks beautiful okay again toasty toffee is more like my summery shade like spring summer shade it, if i wore it today like you would definitely see like it's a, a bit warmer yeah that's always been a favorite of mine for years now you know i'm so not used to wearing earrings that my earlobes get red because i'm not used to wearing earrings but i don't want my piercing holes to Close. The next foundation is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I use the shade, I have no idea, 9. This is really nice as well. It's more a cool tone foundation, but I, this is a foundation I wore a lot to work. It gives me slight smile lines, but nothing major. But it's a really nice hydrating foundation. So if you have dry skin, it's really beautiful, really flawless. And yeah, every time I wear this foundation, I get nice compliments as well. So... Yeah, it's definitely, it definitely does its job well. And I feel like you can control this. Like, I used to wear this a lot to work because if I put a little bit, it still looks like skin, but you can definitely build on top of it to give a more full coverage finish. So yeah, that's it, guys. Those are the m main foundations that I absolutely love throughout last year that really stood out to me and some that I used a lot. But I really wanted to include these two, which are not really foundations, but they're like base products that I used a lot throughout last year. One being the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I used the shade Cuba. Literally, this is almost finished. I used this so much when I was going to work. It's a great everyday product if you're looking for a little bit of coverage, a little bit of colour, and just something to even out your skin tone and hydrating. This is so versatile. I love it so much and I would recommend it to anyone. Okay. And then the other one is the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. And I use the shade number 6 Dark Tan. Do you know what? I would use this every day, but I wouldn't use it to wear because it definitely has a bit of a glitter glow to it, but it's so subtle, but it's beautiful. Like your skin's glowy to the high heavens. Glowy from within. Yeah, this is a definitely a new discovery, but it looks so flawless. You can definitely wear this every day and build on top of it. And I was actually quite surprised at how well it sits on the skin. Um, and it makes it look really lush and it has coverage to it as well. So it's not just like a filter, like it kind you could kind of say it's like a light to medium coverage foundation, I would say. But definitely has a glow to it. And it's, I don't know, I just wanted to include these in here because I've been loving both of these. So yeah, those are all my top high-end foundations. I really hope you found this video helpful and I will try and link all the, the foundation reviews that I've done in the info box for a more in-depth review. And yeah, let me know what foundation stood out to you in 2020 because I don't mind trying it out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful so more people can find this video and benefit from it, I guess. Subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.